Hi friends, this is Bilal Heather and this is the 11th part of the video series and in this video part we are going to talk about loops well what is a loop? a loop is a piece of code which we write and um, whatever we write inside the body of that loop will be repeated as many times as we want okay so loops are basically used to do something repeatedly over and over and over again okay just like an update function it's um it's executed on every single frame and um only one time per frame okay once per every frame so what it is this is basically your game loop where all the things are happening okay where everything is happening where your characters are moving if uh, you are using some animations so your animations are playing and you can interact with your game you can fire whatever you're doing that is done inside this update function and that is your game loop what are loops um, the loops which uh, the loop which we are going to talk now is <coughs> is used in almost all all the programming languages like C++ um, C sharp um, JavaScript and um, also in uh, web uh, web related programming languages like PHP and also in ASP.NET so every language <coughs> um, has loops okay and this loop is called for loop which we are going to um, discuss here and it is used to do things repeatedly okay so let's first of all let's go and create a variable and call it um, number of times yeah let's call it number of times so what <coughs> what this uh, variable will do basically it will um, we we will use this variable to tell our loop to do this thing this much times okay so now let's go ahead and talk about this loop so what this loop will do basically it will start counting from zero up to nine okay let's actually let's go ahead and crack it a piece by piece okay so the first thing here is the for keyword which tells that um, this is a for loop and then we have these parentheses and inside these parentheses we use these statements the first one is int i is equal to zero this is by doing uh, writing this line we are saying that um, this loop will start from zero and it will keep going until this condition becomes false okay so it will um, and this line um, shows that we are incrementing the value of um, i by one <coughs> this operator plus plus and minus minus are used to increment a value by one okay by a number one so if the value of i is five if the value of i is 5 and we do something like this um, i plus plus i's value will be incremented by 1 okay so by the end of this statement i will be having the value 6 okay so keep um, this also in your mind because this is another operator and this is a unary operator and this is used to increment a value this one 
so whatever we'll write inside here let's say we do uh, something stupid let's um, let's create a variable here let's call it life and let's give it a value 10 and let's increase our life by one and also check if if life is greater than five you have reached max life Okay, what this what I have done here basically I have created a loop which will be um, executed 10 times okay so whatever whatever the code written inside the body of our for loop will be executed this much times because this condition will remain true um, until um, I equals 9 okay so 9 is less than 10 that's true 10 is less than 10 no that's not true so this loop will uh, be executed 10 times from 0 to 9 okay and um, what we are doing inside this loop is we are, we have created a variable for our character and we have uh, chosen its life to 10 and when this loop will start executing um, every time this loop starts executing the life's value will be uh, increased by one okay so the first time loop uh, loop executed let me let's make it zero okay so the first time the loop will execute the life's value will become one and it will check if life is greater than five no it will not execute this piece of code and it will continue for the second time life becomes two two is greater than five no it will not execute this piece of code and it will continue doing that so this was um, this was just um, just a simple example of how we use loops and this particular loop is called for loop and it is um, it is used to do something um, um, which you want to do repeatedly okay which you want to do again and again and again okay so maybe this loop can uh, let's say if you have like 100 players in your game this loop can help you find um, a specific player in your game like will start from the zeroth player and go up to the maximum number of players and one by one loop through all those players and find the player which we want okay so loops can be very uh, beneficial um, we'll see more practical examples in the next uh, in next few videos um, yeah I guess this is all for this um, do this loop this kind of loop in next video we'll uh, we'll talk about another loop um, so make sure you watch that video also so don't worry if you if you find uh, find it difficult or um, if you if you're already familiar with programming and you're saying okay I already know all these things okay so don't worry um, keep watching my videos and very soon advanced stuff will be coming very soon where we will be making awesome games for you which you will be able we, are, we, we won't be just making our games but um, we'll also put ads in them and we'll also launch them in um, Android markets and probably also iOS markets okay so this was pretty much all about this video part um, I hope you liked it and see you next time